Speaking of Circuit Python in space. Yeah, well, we Circuit Python's in space. It's in some satellites now. Um, these little micro satellites. It is time to talk about the latest and greatest in the world of Python on hardware. So um, we're gonna do something a little different. Code okay. Plus Community. In the past, we have decided let's not talk about Kickstarters because you don't know what's gonna happen. Who knows? But because people are starting to do things like new variants of something like an Arduino Zero. And they're like, well, let's put the best thing on it that lots of people might use. And they're already doing pull requests. There's already a board. So he said, you know what? Let's start showcasing. If you're putting CircuitPython on a board and you have a Kickstarter, as long as we see it and there is like some type of pull request and we can like, OK, you did the work. It's not just a rendering. Um, we'll help promote it. So this is U-Chip. This is Arduino Zero compatible and a narrow dip 16 package. This and is what very it looks narrow. like. Yeah, that's what it looks skinny. like. Skinny. How skinny that is. And it does all sorts of things, but relevant to our interests. It's got like a boost converter underneath. Yeah, there, so. it uh, it runs Circuit Python. Yay! And it's new. open source hardware. Runs Circuit Python, and one of the places you'll see this show up soon is CircuitPython.org. It's our new site. It's super handy. We're all using it. That's how when you know it's handy when all the developers I'm using and it every day who work it's on great. it. Yeah. So it's CircuitPython.org. Um, I'm clipping away at some other bits of text. Uh, I got a bunch of the photos. Uh, hug report and shout out to Justin and Scott and everyone else who's been working on it. Um, but you'll see this board amongst many others. We have 30 plus boards at circuitpython.org. If you go there and you click a board and you don't see text for it, you can start and help with that as well. And you'll also see a bunch of boards added over time. So circuitpython.org and you click downloads and you'll be able to see the exact latest firmware. Um, you'll also be able to do the filter by features. And we have lots of neat things and it shows by number of downloads. Nice. Yeah, it's cool. Okay. Wednesday, next week, at 3 p.m., we're doing an Internet of Things in Python talk Yay! at HackChat. Hackaday.io. We will post up more information, and they always have a cool poster that they Wait, make. Wait, the HackChat's on Wednesday? Yeah, it's on Wednesday at 3. They moved it to Wednesdays. So. Oh, cool. Yeah. So Wednesday, next week, um, we'll be doing Internet of Things in Python on HackChat. You'll see all sorts of cool stuff. The latest issue of Make came out, and do you know what the number one tech trend was? No, I don't do, know. Do, 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 do. Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> the number one tech trend was a push for Python. Mm. And Make covered all sorts of boards. They have like hundreds of them in there. And lots of Adafruit was in there. Thank you, Make editors. And also, they noticed lots of things going on, like FPGAs, edge computing. The push for Python is the top number one tech trend. And they also link to our um, awesome dash circuit Python list on GitHub, and you can see all sorts of CircuitPython capable boards in addition to all other goodies. If you don't have a subscription to make, pick it up. You can get it off newsstands, too. Also, No and Pedro has a cool article in it as well. Sweet. Uh, we talked about this last week, but um, this is in our newsletter this week. Big ink for, Sean, uh, for Scott Shawcroft squeezing Python in the microcontrollers. This is uh, from IEEE Spectrum, so you know it's good. And uh, it's the article about our efforts, Scott's efforts, all of our collective efforts for getting Python on microcontrollers. In Hackspace Magazine, Sparkfun got 9 out of 10 for their Circuit Python running board, the Lumi Drive LED driver. Nice. That is cool. Seeing our stuff and other people's products get 9 out of 10. That's exactly what we wanted to see. They said this is a really simple way to get going with Blinky and Python. Cool. Um, this was an a open source Asia conference, and this is a talk by... Uh, I want to make sure I get it right. Is Ian, I believe, and uh, this is an entire talk. It's online, and we posted the video that you can learn about MicroPython, CircuitPython, and all the work that's being done with it. How to get started with it. Sophie had a great interview with Cool Tools about Circuit Playground Express. She's doing the coolest stuff. Yeah, I mean, like she, she is. Cool she tools. is the coolest. That she was on Cool Tools. Users. And in the latest hack space, she also did the um, Circuit Playground Flappy Bird project, which yeah. is really neat. Yeah. There was an entire podcast devoted to. Hi Portal. This is the Disrupt Yourself podcast, one of my favorite ones to listen to. Um, went over all sorts of things with Circuit Python and Pi Portal and more. We showed this off next week as a coming soon, but this is our big news that's happened recently. Um, we applied to use the 4H logo on the Circuit Playground Express so more people could get Circuit Python and Make Code and you know, TinyGo and Arduino and Code.org and CS Discoveries. And it is now official. We have approval, and we work with 4-H. So lots of cool 4-H stuff coming soon. Uh, Lady Ada did a scale project. This is what she were talking about before. So here's a, a, a video hot off the desk of Lady Ada when uh, we got it working. 
Okay, Anita, what is this? This is a scale. It's a digital USB scale that I picked up, and uh, I wanted to see if I can make an IoT scale because it's actually like cheaper to just buy fully made scales and then IoTify them than try to like DIY it by yourself. So what I've got here is a Pi Portal, and it's got a data line reading the data from this Dymo scale, and it, you know you can see as I press it, um, I'm reading the grams, and I can also change over to ounces if I'm feeling imperial. Okay. And then the next step is to make this internetified by using the built-in ESP32 on the back here to send that scale data to Adafruit.io so we can make an Internet of Things scale. That's my project. Cool. Okay. And you also then... got to see me in makeup, which is kind of weird. Because <laughs> I was shooting a video that day, which yeah. you see soon. See, Lady Ada's is a little different. She wears makeup, which she's never on camera. She, she gets completely, it's formal all the time. It's only in front of the camera and at Adafruit that she, she dresses down. It's a little weird. Um, so this is one of the projects we did. Someone came up with a website, and it was killed by Google. And uh, it had a JSON file that had all of the things that Google killed off. So um, here is the, um, the video of what, what it looked like on a pie portal. So this uh, boots up reaches out on the internet and gets the, the feed. Um, it'll show what the product name was and then what year it was killed off. So this is Yay. the Nexus Q. And this was killed off in July of 2013. Yay! <laughs> so you know, All your favoritest things in the world. So everything you like to Google, you can get a little desktop reminder. To of remind what, you of the thing that you were using and then it, it got killed off. This is a Google notifier. It alerted users to new messages in their Gmail account. Killed off. 131, 2014. So um, this was just a neat example. There's there's things like this that you can just point a Pi Portal at, and it'll be able to display useful information like this. Um, this is a coming soon. Uh, this is uh, our take on kind of HyperCard, but it's also um, a really neat way to use Pi Portal. So this is called PiperCard. This was the demo, and this uh, also was a choose-your-own-adventure project. So this is one that, that I'm working on. So uh, boots up. Um, I had these neat Bill Atkinson HyperCard Apple-style graphics from back in the day. And what it does is it reads a JSON file locally, and this is what tells it all the different things, where to put a button, what page to go to. Um, I tried to make it look Mac-like. And this is the choose-your-own-adventure part. It's like, you don't have any friends, so you decide, hey, maybe you want to make a robot friend and uh, to be continued. So that's real, it's working. Other folks got, got their pie portals. So they nice use some of the, yeah, that's not, that's not my hand. This is, this is people in the world who got their pie portals. Nice hands. Um, this, is, uh, this is not a real cat, I think. It's an AI site that just cranks out images of fake cats. Um, so that works with pie portal. This was, um, we first heard about this from a pull request, but then the person posted up a lot of things. This is all the cool um, load of the cluster, and then it'll let them know. It's their door science when people, because yeah. they, they do ops, and so when somebody's looking for them, they put this on their door, and then it shows their latest tweet, which is their status, and then um, the load graph, which can, like, you know, if, if something is amiss... Uh, you can quickly tell if the load shoots up or, or drops down too fast. Yeah, and then um, because there was a, a Brexit um, petition, someone immediately made how many signatures are on it, and they threw that on their Pi portal. Then this was a Pi badge that goes on Twitter using if then this that, and then puts the Twitter message on their on their they're using it as a badge. Mm -hmm. And this is from uh, Melissa Maker, and this is a cool. Uh, Display I O Lady can correct me. If yeah, I'm this honest. is a display I O demo for With, the TFT feathering. Yeah, so it shows cool. that you can use um, Display I O on uh, an add-on, not just for uh, boards that have a TFT built into them, like the Pi Portal. And uh, you'll even get the REPL um, very small on a teeny little display like this, so you can see it's only I think like 160 by 80 pixels. But yeah, yeah. there's a little little display. And then someone's making a game called Circuit Dungeon which is uh, super cute and it runs on the Halloween. And then Radomir made the snake game and you use the little teeth to steer the snake around. Uh, these are robots from Mystery Science Cedar 3000. This is uh, Packy 
And Packy, is that's the name of the bot because it goes in a backpack and it's Gypsy that pops out of it. And um, it's now using Cricket. And I believe Circuit Playground Express too. These are all the robots and they talk and stuff. Made with Moo. Moo has some interesting things going on. The Moo uh, Alpha is here. So it's the 1.01 oh, release. Yeah. Yeah. So there's uh, features like Tidy, there's ESP32, e ESP8266, micro MicroPython support. Micro support. Yeah. Um, there's now um, packages. So if you're interested in probably one of the easiest to use IDEs for Python, this is for you. So great to start, but then don't forget, you can always jump from that to Atom. I actually use Atom now more, which I like. Yeah. But Moo is like, it, what I like about it is it has yeah, an auto-repl. Yeah. I love that auto repeling. Oh, it's so great. Choices. I like that it, any text editor will do, so like doesn't matter. Yeah, you use like simple text. I use a text editor a lot. Um, then there's um, Snack. This is one I'm watching. Um, Keith is doing a really neat job with getting a, a, a very small, 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 tiny version of Python on Arduinos, but then he also is getting to work on the, the Metro cars. Um, Pyboard D's out. The latest Pyboard D. I have some on order. We'll let Yay. you know when we get it. We'll also post Hyper up some Power portfolios. Hyperpower Cortex M4 with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth yeah. and M7 200 megahertz. This is a massive chip, but it's in a very small uh, size PCB, and it's got these cool Hiroshi style connectors for adding extensions to it. So it's it's ultra powerful, and I love the Wi-Fi and um, so, uh, yeah. Bluetooth built in. And then. Uh, you have to watch the whole video on this, and it's in the newsletter and, and on our site. But this is called Meowbit, and it's a really interesting uh, device that's kind of like a microbit, kind of like a game device, kind of like a little bit of everything. Um, and it's pretty powerful. It runs MakeCode. It can run MicroPython. Um, check it out. It has a, a lot of things going on. ESP32 on the back, and like it's 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 neat and it's weird and it's cool. Um, People are getting the Sci-5 um, brought up with uh, some MicroPython stuff. Yay. So you'll start to see some of this coming out. Um, but this is MicroPython 1.10230 uh, Sci-5551. Yep. Espressive is getting into like the, the gossip business. And they're like, hey, soonish. Soonish is going to come out. So everyone's starting to guess, like, what is this new ESP? Because the last ESP32 came out in about 2016. And so folks are guessing. They're saying, like, is this in well, there? More like, powerful, I think, more, more GPIO, GPIO yeah. more pens, and then maybe they're maybe thinking USB, maybe USB. Maybe USB, yeah. It would be interesting for us if they actually have a, a true USB stack, not just, like, USB serial. Yeah. That so, could be a good um, candidate for CircuitPython. Rumors. Gossip. Um, some of these things that you saw were in the Melbourne MicroPython meetup. We also, um, uh, I, I share links with Matt, who runs this, in our newsletter. So if you haven't, search for that. You can also look in, in our newsletter for this. Matt does a really good job posting these up each week. Um, I also found this really neat MicroPython microbit site, uh, Chinese language site. Um, they have like really, this is where I saw the meow bit. So um, if you want to, like the latest stuff that you might not see right away that just happens to run hmm. some Python on hardware. Um, also, I'm going to try to figure out a way to subscribe to this magazine. This is Interface Magazine in Japan. They're up to their like 1,000th issue and they did a whole big thing on MicroPython and Python on hardware. I noticed um, there's a lot of um, yeah, Japanese fans of MicroPython and CircuitPython. Yeah. It's, it kinda, I think they're, they're, they're in, interested in I think in because it. they have Python they're just yeah. like great. Um, speaking of, uh, Mike helped put together a really good um, Python podcast including our own. And then this was another neat thing. This is a board that was made for universities. And it's, a, it's a Xilinx FPGA yeah. board called the Pink and you program the FPGA in Python. Now the FPGA doesn't run Python, but like instead of I think VHDL, I think you write it your definition of the, your your gate definitions in Python, and I think that's kind of interesting. And it's higher level languages. It's a good idea actually because a lot of people aren't going to learn VHDL, and it expands the number of people who are going to use um, FPGAs. So this is the pink board from Xilinx. So yeah, it's a it's a it's a powerful FPGA, um, and then you use um, not just yeah. Python, but use um, what's it called, Jupyter Notebooks. So yeah, really fascinating. Yeah, it's pynq.io if you want to learn more. Um, also, on our jobs board, don't forget, there's a lot of people posting up their Python-related skills, or their companies that want Python-related skills, and now more 
with hardware. Um, if you're in Berlin tomorrow, um, you can go to uh, Pi Berlin. Uh, Calliope or Calliope is Calliope. Calliope is doing mini integration with MicroPython. Uh, Jorn is doing that talk. KaiCon's coming up. Is it KeyCon or KaiCon? <laughs> See, this is the problem. Not getting to that. And uh, this is coming up soon. We're a sponsor. April 26th and 27th. You can see all sorts of cool things and more. Uh, KaiCad KaiCon.com. And then um, our big event, where we'll see many of you, will be at PyCon May 1st through 9th. DigiKey and Adafruit teamed up. And if you're going, guess what you get? You get this cool limited edition Red Circuit Playground Express running circuit python the team will be there and more they'll be doing workshop sprints and many of the people that are in the discord chat i think like melissa is going to be there brent sedacious um dan katney scott and more will be there all this is in github.com slash adafruit slash awesome dash circuit python it's on our newsletter and if uh you want to you can subscribe on adafruit daily and just click python on microcontrollers we're now up to about 5,000 plus people yep. that read every single week. So many people. So much news. It's a lot. There's can't more. can't believe that was just one week. There's more. And we didn't cover everything. There's more that I just have to put in the, the one for next week. Okay. 